Hello, family, and we're back again. Yes, we are back. We are live and in charge and in color, and we are sitting out here making this one and only video, so make sure y'all save it, y'all archive it, because this is the only time that you're going to have, the only video that you're going to have that you can diagnose me okay i said i was gonna do it but then i tried to say i do it all the time when i post videos but it seems like for some folks they just don't like me you know what i'm saying they think i'm too hard on other people they are in my platform uh or our platform trying to sew me up get me together tell me about myself and how i conduct myself on my platform so i thought you know hey for all these wonderful keyboard gangsters out here trying to drop froggy on me, on my platform, on the fam, and won't let us have a good time, this video is dedicated for you, especially Tina Williams. Yes, okay, she's been in my, um, what do you call it, chat section many times. I think I even shouted her out because I thought she was on my side. I don't know. I guess farewell the friends, farewell the family members. We all have them, but we can always bid them adieu, such as this. Tina Williams, this video is strictly for you and anybody else that want to come after you and try to basically dog me out, talk about me, break me down, Whatever y'all try to say y'all doing when y'all take the time to be behind them keyboards and, and get going. You know, your Twitter fingers, your, your, your fingers just be going like a mile a minute. And that's okay. This is the time where all of my haters, my non-supporters, anybody that want to get a piece of dip, okay? Anybody want to get a piece of dip, this is the video you do it. Leave all your... Uh, comments about how I treat or talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, individuals on the show, how they act and how y'all try to take up for them, even though y'all probably never broke bread with them or been in the presence of them. And you, you just ride or die for them, okay? You just ride or die for them. But it just, I don't know, it just mind boggles me how you can take that same energy okay same energy and cuss me out verbally harsh curse words or some don't use curse words but they just try to feel like they getting me together it's very funny how you can come on my platform that i decided to make up on youtube take my time my effort my money and all these things all these things is what i'm saying and you come over and express your opinions about how I said things in the environment that I chose to be in. And you want to get me together. But you think what you're doing to me is just as harmless as you think I'm doing to them. Meaning the people that I review and do commentary on. I'm bad. So, I want you to help me make this make sense. You're saying when I disagree on how somebody is acting on a TV show, okay, that if nobody watched it, they would have no income. You know what I'm saying? If we're not watching these shows that make us kiki, giggle, make us have conversation about, you know, their demeanor, what they're showing us on a particular show we may be reviewing, if we didn't do it, they wouldn't be around. And if they always went up there happy-go-lucky, wouldn't nobody want to watch it. People do not go to the TV for really feel-good stuff anymore. They really don't. They don't. I mean, it'd be a select few. But people want drama. They want to laugh. They want to be somewhat entertained, whether they agree or whether they disagree with what they're saying. You only can tell if you're tuning in. Okay, so again, I'm mind boggled at the people that want to tell me I'm wrong for expressing my opinions on said matter or whatever commentary I'm doing on whatever person or whatever reality star or celebrity, however you want to see them. Okay, I'm wrong, but they want to take that same energy that they feel I'm putting out. On my own platform, but I'm talking about somebody else. 
they feel I'm wrong and I shouldn't be doing that, but they're going to come and get me together. Now, can anybody tell me the hypocrisy in that? That's just like calling the pot, calling the kettle black. Okay, what you saying I'm doing to them, you doing it to me. So, with sound logical region, reasoning and deducting everything to come up with a hypothesis. My hypothesis for you, Tina Williams, you batshit crazy. Okay, you are batshit crazy to think that I am going to sit and let you tell me what to do on my platform. Girl, like you said, girl by girl by. But let's read in case anybody didn't catch it. Because after this video, we bid her adieu. Salute her. She go on to wherever she want to go and start ca chaos on somebody else's platform. Because the damn show ain't going to be over here anymore. And she may come up on other different names or whatever. But if you don't come on this video... And address whatever you feel you want to say about me negatively, whatever. Because everybody that wants to say everything positive about my videos, they will be left in my comment section. The ones in my future videos that want to go off on me, not, not subject matter, you see what I'm saying? See, people get confused. When I do videos, I don't want you to come and critique me. I am not subject matter. But in this particular video... I am subject matter. You can tell me what you don't like about me. You can tell me how you think I should act. This is your night. This is your day. This is your afternoon to shine, okay? And I ain't gonna never delete it. I ain't gonna never delete it. But this is the video that you can come to anytime you feel like it. And say whatever you want to say. I'm flattering about me. Negative, whatever. Because in future videos... Nobody comments will be shown, okay? I suggest you stick to uh, topic, subject matter, meaning, plain and stick. Because I didn't want to just show videos or skits. I, I just basically want to get on the tube myself and talk to the people that can hear and the people that can see, all right? Because some people just don't have it mentally, okay? And I'm not being funny about that. I'm just saying they want to start shit, you know? They want to come on over here, start chaos and discord. I don't say it so many times. This is not a beefing channel. I don't have the time or the inclination to go back and forth. That's not what I do, okay? I say something. You say something. And if it's worth me expressing another opinion then i do so but then i'm done with it it's a it's a dead issue we're not going to go and play these thousands back and forth tip for tap we're not gonna do that we grown okay you grown i'm grown look we can agree to disagree okay or be indifferent i don't care which way but this is the only video you're going to get your lovely chance to tell me what you feel okay all the other videos that are coming out you can try. How to say, keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Yes. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Woohoo. Keep a knocking, but you won't come in. Because you've been what? Dismissed what? Dismissed what? Dismissed. Yes. Okay. Yes, you've been dismissed. All right. You can go on in yonder. Go on to another platform. If you want me to suggest some beefing channels to you. And I know quite a few. Okay. I know quite a few. That they do other things on their channel. But when you come for them. You put their name in your mouth. Girl. It's not a pretty sight. It's not a pretty sight. And they have the tenacity and the stamina uh, got me stuttering. The stamina, stamina, yes, to go day and night, night and day with you. They can drag you from sun up to sundown and don't even break a sweat. That's just what they do. That's how they build. I'm not built like that, okay? I want to do two things. I'm about them hands. And you really had to be done push me to the end. You done push me to the limit. You know, I'm off my medication. Everything just done went black and I'm just seeing red. Okay. Or I'm going to let you, you know, do whatever you want to do to me. If I survive and I get well, I am going to seek litig litigation against you. And I'm going to take you for everything that you have, your family have, anything I can get my hands on. Okay. 
those are the only two actions that you're going to get from me. So, you can stop trying to get me to go off on you. It's not going to happen. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. I don't have the fortitude, to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't focus like that. I am a happy person, okay? It's just like, I don't understand what you people... I ain't going to say you people because that's generalizing. Some people, okay? Well, since I'm addressing this video, and I can't think of the other lady that I had to get rid of or some other family members I had to um, get rid of. See, this is how I discard people. If you don't mean anything to me, and that's in my real life too, okay? I, it's the same now in my social media life, you know? I give you a chance. I give you, you know, your opportunities. I try to see your point of view, and I try to let you live within your comments. You know what I'm saying? The same as I do in my own real family biological life, you know, because everybody not the same. I recognize it, get it, got it good. Okay, I understand that, and I don't want people to be like me, think like me, dress like me, believe like me. I don't want that, cause then that's just like what is it called? The sheep following the many. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. I want people to have their own opinions, their own minds. I just like them to be respectful and how they're putting it. So, yeah. Okay. So, this is the video. Y'all need to, Tiffany, you can, well, I don't know. Because you probably going to have to come under another name. Because once I fin finish with this video, baby girl, uh, yeah, I'm going to be done blocked you, removed you. However, we can do it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be done did all that to you. So you're gonna probably have to come up under another name, dog me out, but then that'll be done the same way. Now I can play them games all day long. I just delete, high user report, delete. Just depend on how I'm feeling on that particular day. Okay. So a word to the wise and many people that may follow. I have this tone all the time. I, you know. I don't, I don't let my, how you call it? I don't let my anger get me to a point where my demeanor have to change. You see what I'm saying? Either I'm going to change the situation by removing myself from the situation as far as addressing it, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go back and forth with people. I don't find, find it necessary. You know what I'm saying? You either like me, you either like what I offer, or you don't. That's just point, period, and blank. Ain't no way in the hell. Excuse me, Lord. I'm going to be on somebody's channel just for the hell of it. Just to say, oh, let me go do this to this person. Let me go do that to this person. Let me cause chaos, you know, chaos to this person. I mean, <laughs> you're not going to like everything a person says. It's just not possible. But the hypocrisy of it all. You don't like me because I'm talking about somebody that's on my TV screen that I choose to look at. Okay, so that means I care enough about her to watch it so she can continue to have a job. You see what I'm saying? You see how that works? If people don't watch stuff on TV, they cancel their shows. They end up in the unemployment line. They start losing stuff because they don't have the income there to keep them in the status of life, of the lifestyle they're still trying to live. Okay, it's a touch and go thing. But hold on. So let me just address Tina Williams on pretty much what she said. And she would be the only one to get this kind of shine. Because like I said, videos moving forward, you would just be dismissed. You know, just plain as day. You know, we ain't got time for this. We ain't got to do this every day. You know, we ain't got that time. I, I talk about something every day that's new. Okay. I may be talking about the same people, but they might be doing different things. You see what I'm saying? So, this is what Tina wrote in the comment section of a video I did on Cynthia Bailey from The Real Housewives of Atlanta was asked, what would she do if Nene left the show? Okay. Tina wrote, you're negative. Them women been on the show before. Who are you? Well, Tina, tell the truth. And think, I, I claim it to fame. I am a child of God, okay? Yes, I am a child of God. <sighs> That's pretty much, and I'm an individual thinker. I, 
I'm very thought provoking. I think I'm very interesting and a lot of people like me. You know, and then I do have people that don't like me. And they don't like me because I know who I am. That's all that I can get that they upset about. Nobody can make me jump through no hoops unless I want to jump through those hoops. You see what I'm saying? I'm not like you. Okay? I don't get on somebody else's platform. Even when I don't like somebody, I don't go over there, cuss them out, leave all derogatory type messages on their platform. No, I don't do that. But what I will do when we're talking about YouTube and doing commentary and reviews, I will come on my platform and I will talk about certain things. Okay, that's what I will do. Okay. Then you said, um, child, go to the food bank somewhere. Who are you to judge? Where the hell the food bank come from? But if I needed to go to the food bank, I wouldn't have no shame and no game in it. Mm-mm, sure would. Mm-mm. I wouldn't. Because I can tell you, when I was unemployed, through, the, through no fault of my own, you know, I did go get food stamps. Yes, I did. Because I paid my taxes. And I went and got food for me and my family. Mm-hmm. So, what, what what's that? That was supposed to be something that's supposed to be like, ooh, I'm, above, I'm below that. I'm above. I mean, I'm below that. Uh, that's beneath me, girl. I don't even make fifty thousand a year. Okay, I don't make fifty thousand a year. If you wanted to know that, okay. But yes, I still have a home. I still drive a car, a modest home. Let's just kid it like that. A modest car, and I don't hate. Nothing nobody else has because I feel they deserve everything they get because it was meant for them to have. And whether they got it legally or illegally, I don't know about all that because, see, I focus in the legal realm of life. I know about karma, okay? So, yeah, I I live a humble life, if you must say. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I would never judge anybody that had to go to the food bank. They had to get on welfare because they fell on hard times. No. Mm -mm, I sure would not. But it seems like that's where you want me to go because you judge me since I don't make the money that needy don't make. And I ain't sold my soul either. Okay? Everybody that's on TV doing a lot of strange things for some change, you can best believe they're doing it in the satanic realm. Okay? But see, if you don't believe in that or you're a satanic follower, you wouldn't understand where I'm coming with that. You wouldn't understand because you're looking for discord. You're looking for chaotic situations and all of that. Okay. All right. Let's go on. <sighs> Since you wanted this, see. You, 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 I guess you're good because, but then you're not. You're not that good to get me off, you know, my platform and just strictly have this one-on-one -on -one time with you. It's been a long time coming because it was a few others that I just like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, but I'm, I'm taking this time and I'm going to have this video. It's going to stay up as long as my channel stay up, okay? Because I want it to be just for people who want to just hate on me for whatever reason. Y'all can comment on this video and the comments will stay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, comments will stay. <sighs> yeah. But you won't get in. You won't get in, okay? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because just as quick as I see it, whether it's in the morning, the afternoon, or at night, girl. Whether I'm having a good day or bad day or whatever kind of day. The one time I see it, girl, or guys, whoever want to follow after her, I'm just going to delete it. I'm just going to delete it. <sighs> but okay. Then you said, who are you to judge? F, I mean, STF. I'm thinking you're saying, if I'm right, because my, my, my younger people that's looking at the video, is it shut the fuck up? Is that what she was trying to say? She should have just wrote it out. See what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, it's so, the er, you're a disappointment. Mm. Well, if I'm a disappointment, what does that make you? What does that make you, girl? What does that make you? At least I can come on my platform. I can show myself. And I ain't cussed at you not really one time, you know. But you've been using cuss words at me like it ain't. Like it just, I don't know. 
I don't know. And you're doing it at me. You ain't doing it at my commentary or whatever. You just doing you spewing all of this at me. You're throwing salt on my name. But what's the difference between you and I? When I do commentary, I'm strictly giving my commentary on what an individual is showing me. And see what Nene Leakes see. I would have thought that this was something she just wanted to do for ratings and to keep her uh, in the limelight of being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, get people more conscious about coming over, seeing her cut up and act the fool, and that it was just all for show. But see, Nene was out there in the public, okay, in the public. It was no cameras around, none of that. Just everyday people, everyday Jill, Samantha, Serena. Tamika, okay, anybody like that, or either John, Jim, Carlos, Stanley, Xavier, Tim, you know what I'm saying, and it just blows y'all out the, out the street, just living a life, living it humbly, doing what they got, just going on merrily, you know what I'm saying, and then they come up to someone like Nene in an airport, Nene act like she can't even talk to nobody in no airport. This probably was a, and she did say that she was a fan of Nene's. You know what I'm saying? Fan just wanted to get a little selfie or just a picture of her, autograph, something. You no, know, this is what celebrities do. This is what they put themselves out for. These are the people that are keeping them employed, okay? But Nene cussing folks out. She don't want to do nothing. And people getting on their social media. Videotaping this, uh, the um, the vlogging, I should say, vlogging and putting it on social media of how Nene act towards them, how she foul mouth cussed them out. Like, she, I mean, like, if you got it like that, don't take commercial, don't fly commercial, honey. Get into your jet, your helicopter, your plane, and do it that way, okay? So you could be around the people that you feel you are so up in the air with. You don't need to be down here. Mm -mm, with the regular people, the everyday people, you need to be up there with the people that own stuff. They they, they don't have to take commercial. No, they have their own pilot. They have their own plane. They have their own crew. That's what Nene need to strive to do. So she don't have to be worried about everyday people. Okay. Then she had another incident with somebody put on social media. She was at a wig store. Now she has all these people that's, you know, checking for her to sell their products, their wig products, their hair accessories or whatever. What's she doing in the wig store? And it wasn't one of them upscale wig stores. It was one wig store that I would partake in going into. Because I've definitely had my time where I caught myself wearing wigs and this, that, and the third. But I started to go getting gray. And stuff of that nature. So, I just started just wearing my own hair. And just grow into my greatness effortlessly. And grown focus. You know what I'm saying? But this, you know, I'm just getting off the subject. Now, let's get back to what you were telling me in this Instagram. Not Instagram post, but on my YouTube platform. Okay? You said, bye. You wish you had Nene Money Cash App Blogger Girl Bye. Well, no, I don't wish I had any money because I ain't finna sacrifice my soul for not nobody. Okay? Not not nobody. I'm not going to love money and hate the Lord. Mm -mm. The Lord can just think about me and say, I want her dismissed. I want her gone. And I'm gone. Poof. I'm gone to bones. Soot. Whatever. Okay? Dirt. So, no, I'm not a lover of money. I give more than I receive. Okay? But I invest in people that I can see want to make a change, want to do good, want to do better, or I'm supporting. You know, I don't support everybody. I got to have some feeling. I had to go off certain energy. You see what I'm saying? Before I get my hard-earned money. Okay. All right. So, no. I don't wish to have fame fortune because then I would sacrifice my soul because that's the only thing I'd be thinking about and trying to think about how I'm going to keep it. Okay? Mm-mm. I'm of this world, but I have conformed my thinking from this world. I keep my treasures up in heaven where I try to uh, compose myself of being one day. I mean, ain't nothing all good and all bad in everybody. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when you have to call out a spade, you have to call out a spade. And let the chips fall where they might. Okay? I'm not, I haven't got to that point where I don't like enjoying 
television and shows and this like that. Maybe one day I would just be done with television, done with YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And I just want to sit and read my Bible and, and just be filled. Almost like a nun or a monk. Okay, but I wasn't called uh, to become a monk or a nun or anything of that. So I'm still in sin. And I, like I say, I repent. I repent every day. Okay, because I do fall short of the grace of God on how I should act or how I should morally act. But see, if you call yourself a Christian, you sitting up here trying to chastise me and, and, and tell me about the good book. But you doing all these things to me. Aren't you judging me? Aren't you judging me, Tina? Williams? Hmm. Okay. And then, I don't know if you were talking about cash up or, or whatever. I don't get cash up, honey. It's nothing on my profile or on my thing when you come into my YouTube uh, platform. It don't tell you to join nothing. You never, in none of my videos, have me advertise you can cash out me or you can send me money. Because there's people like you that will want a refund. You'll get mad at something I said and you'll be thinking of all the money that you gave me. You're an Indian giver. That's why I think you are. You one of them people that say they want to support you, want to do this, that, and the third. And once I say something you don't like, you try to censor me. You try to say, well, no, I don't like the way you're acting. So you're going to have to do it this way. You almost like the entertainment field or industry where they dictate to you how they want you to look, how what they want you to say, this, that, and that. This is not that. I only go to the beat of my own drum. I only ask an answer to one person. And that's the Lord himself. Now anytime in between time and in the meantime. If he don't say Duffy. I don't want you to be on that tube no more. I'm going to be right here. I'm going to be right here. Okay. Giving my commentary on things that I like to watch. But I don't necessarily like the way people are acting. Because I don't think they have to do that to get money. You know what I'm saying? It could be a lot of things, these shows. You know, I have ideas about shows and, you know, how things should go. And it would be pretty much entertaining. But in this world, in this society, and the ones who make the laws, they don't want to see goodness. They don't want to see shows that have some type of premise to them where it's showing more good than bad. Because how the world has flipped or how society or the leaders have flipped things. Everything that we thought was good is bad. Everything that we felt were bad is good. You see what I'm saying? It's like upside down. So, yeah. I don't know. You don't pay me, basically. Because... I guess well, you do because you, you click. But see, you the type of person that will report or flag stuff just because you didn't like stuff. And see, what happens is they review my video. And it's certain guidelines that YouTube basically go off of. And if it don't, or they feel I have not um, violated any of their guidelines, their rules to operate a channel on their platform... They actually flipped the video back on. So, yeah. And the money that I do make on YouTube. See, I'm not one of them bigger YouTubers that, you know, they have spent their whole life building their platform and stuff like that. Because I tell you, for one thing, they wouldn't take the time to try to understand where you're coming from, Tina Williams. Mm -mm. They'll just have you where you it's tricks of the trade. Just put it like that. <laughs> that they would not take the time to even think of you. They would think you are just gum underneath their shoe. And they're going to get a lot more supporters than, a, than more haters. You see what I'm saying? Because it's called commentary. It's about showing and, and um, being one with the audience. Because they can tell people that's full of fuckery. Foolishness and fakeness and fraudulently doing things. They can tell. And see, I thought you were family. But like I said, you have wolves and sheep's clothing in your in your real family. So I don't, you know, it just come and go. It comes and goes, you know. People come and go in your life for whatever reason. You know, their season has come and it's gone and they must float on. So I don't have anything bad to say about you. I'm just basically trying to 
uh, clear up some misunderstandings you were having about I'm trying to be a God over here. No, I don't look at myself a God. I wouldn't even put myself in that realm. Okay. Too much responsibility. And then I have to just check people. And I get tired of be checking people and killing people and taking them out. You know, I, I couldn't do that. That's why God never told us the time of our exit out of this world. Because we were doing some crazy, crazy stuff. We'll be jealous because somebody else got a chance to live and we can't live. And we'll be going trying to kill them people because we don't want them to live no longer. It's just crazy. Okay. We live in a very crazy world and society. And it wasn't always like that. But it is what it is. So, Tina Williams, my suggestion to you and others like you, find another channel. Or better yet, build your own channel, your own platform, and talk about people the way you want to be talked about or you want to see others talk about. And see if that does well for you. But as far as you coming over to Deb Chanel's house, with the family we already have over here. With the love and support we have over here. Because my channel is free, pretty much. I don't ask you to donate to me. Mm -mm. I don't ask you to join my Patreon. Those are out there, too, on some high-profile people's platforms. And some that's got you know lesser subscribers than myself. They have Patreon that their uh, subscribers can partake of. They have uh, subscription fees you could pay. They have super chats, uh, cash app, all the stuff you're talking about. It's not on this channel, baby. So I don't know who you got confused with when you try to put that in the comment section. I don't get paid for that. I get paid from Google when I produce videos, okay? And it's very modest of what I get paid for. But like I said, it pays a couple of bills, utility bills. Mm-hmm. Yes, honey. Grocery, whatever. For a month. So, I bid you adieu. I, I bid you farewell. I wish you well. I wish you well in all your endeavors on this YouTube community. Go and support whoever you want to support. Go support people that you that think like you, that you don't give the opportunity for people to be diverse and have their own opinions and all that. This channel is not for you because on this side, that side, this side, that side is the whole conception of Deb Chanel's 40s world. We got pros and cons over here. We got people that think individually. We think they think collectively. And if they agree to disagree or be indifferent. It's their choice, just as long as they stay on subject matter and not me. You see what I'm saying? This video is strictly for you to critique me. Now, see, this is the only video you're going to get. You can do commentary on me. You can critique me. You can say whatever you want to say. This is the time to do it. This is the video to do it. But like I said, you can't come on Tina Williams no more. You might try to find another one. But like I said... I'm not playing with nobody no more. Okay. If you want to drop froggy, you want to be behind that uh, keyboard and being a gangster and saying this, that, and the third, then you do you. Do you all day, every day. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. How you feel about me, if it's negative, ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. It really don't. It's just your perception of what you feel. And see, somebody else can take a look at me and, and, and look at me and understand what I'm saying and get a different perspective. See, that's what life is all about. We all don't have to agree. We all don't see things in black and white. Some of us do see things in color. Okay? But that's all I had, y'all, for this video. Y'all can get down in them comments. Say whatever you want to say. Okay? Because it ain't going to matter to me one hill of a beans. Not for this particular video. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay? But y'all be blessed. And while you're throwing hate on me, Throw it back at yourself, okay? Just be like a two-way mirror, okay? When you're throwing hate on me for no reason, you think you got a reason, really think about it. Justify it and see, is it something wrong with you instead of you trying to put it all on me, okay? 
But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all be blessed, and I'll talk to y'all on another video for the people that are rocking with me. Not the ones that are trying to hate and trying to get in them comments, because that ain't going to happen. I'm telling you, it ain't going to happen. It might happen, but it ain't going to be there for long once I peep it, okay? That's all I'm saying. But okay, bye-bye.